Hello everyone. In the last lesson, we learned how to use a switch to control the forward and reverse rotation of a motor. Today, we will dive deeper into motor driver chips. A motor driver chip is an integrated circuit that combines multiple electronic components into a small module capable of executing complex control tasks. Compared to simple switch control, a motor driver chip not only controls the direction of the motor, but also allows precise speed adjustment, making the operation more flexible and intelligent. L293D is a widely used dual H-bridge motor driver chip that can control two DC motors or one stepper motor simultaneously. Due to its simple design and powerful functionality, the L293D is commonly used in robots, toys, and small automation devices. Although different manufacturers may release different versions of the L293D, its core functionality remains consistent. To fully utilize the performance of the L293D, it is essential to thoroughly understand its datasheet. The datasheet is the core document for understanding the chip's functionality, providing detailed information about its features, pin functions, logic diagram, and other critical information. It serves as a comprehensive technical reference for users. The L293D has three main features. Wide power supply voltage range, suitable for power sources from 4.5 volts to 36 volts. Independent logic power supply, which can separately provide the chip with a logic power supply, typically 5 volts. Each channel can provide a maximum continuous output current of 600 milliamps, with a peak current of up to 1.2 amps. As shown in the picture, the metal pins of the L293D chip are neatly arranged on both sides. These pins act as bridges between the integrated circuit and the external circuit used to transmit signals, provide power, or receive data. Each pin has a specific function to ensure that the chip can interact effectively with external components. The pins are numbered sequentially from 1 to 16. Pin 16, VCC1, is the logic power pin, typically connected to a 5 volts supply. Pin 8, VCC2, is the motor power pin, supporting an input voltage range of 4.5 volts to 36 volts. In our project, it is connected to a 9 volts power supply. Pins 4, 5, 12, and 13 are GND, which are ground pins used for connecting the circuit's ground line. Pins 1 and 9 are enable pins for motor start or stop control. Pins 2, 7, 10, and 15, 1A, 2A, 3A, and 4A are control signal input pins connected to the microcontroller to receive control commands. Pins 3, 6, 11, and 14, 1Y, 2Y, 3Y, and 4Y are output pins directly connected to the motor to drive it. A logic diagram is a graphical representation used to describe how various components in an electronic circuit or system are interconnected and function. It illustrates the signal flow paths within the circuit and the relationships and operational logic between different components such as transistors, logic gates, and integrated circuits. Now, let's use a logic diagram to introduce the working principle of the L293D. Inside the L293D, four transistors control the motor's direction. When 1, 2 EN is set to high level, meaning it is enabled, the states of 1A and 2A determine the direction of current flow, thus controlling the motor's rotation direction. If 1A is high and 2A is low, the current flows from 1Y to 2Y. If 1A is low and 2A is high, the current flows from 2Y to 1Y. So, how do we generate high or low signals? The first method is using constant signals. 
we can obtain a 5 volts high level signal by connecting to a power supply or a voltage regulator and a low level signal by connecting to ground. Another method is using a microcontroller such as an Arduino which can be programmed to output high or low signals from its pins, offering a more flexible control approach. Next, we will learn how to use the L293D motor driver to control a DC motor. We will run a simulation in Tinkercad, using switches to generate high and low signals to achieve forward and reverse motor control. First, we will use one side of the L293D to control a single motor. Drag a breadboard, a 9 volts battery, a motor, a 5 volts power supply, an L293D, and two switches from the component library into the workspace. Connect the 9 volts battery to the upper power rail of the breadboard and the 5 volts power supply to the lower power rail. Connect the VCC2 pin of the L293D to the 9 volts power rail and connect VCC1, the enable pin, and the third terminal of the switches to the 5 volts power rail. Connect the ground pins of the L293D and the first terminal of the switches to the negative power rail of the breadboard. Connect the positive and negative terminals of the motor to the 1Y and 2Y pins of the L293D. Finally, connect the 1A and 2A pins of the L293D to the second terminals of the switches. Click Start Simulation and toggle the switches to observe that when 1A is at a high level and connected to the positive terminal, the motor rotates forward. When 2A is at a high level and connected to the positive terminal, the motor rotates in reverse. Next, add a motor and use the L293D to control the rotation of both motors. Please carefully compare the final wiring diagram shown in the video to make sure your connections are correct. Once you have verified that the wiring is correct, you can use the clear robotics kit to make the actual wiring connections. In this lesson, we have studied the functions and applications of the motor driver chip L293D in depth, including its pin configuration, logic diagram, and working principle, and realized the forward and reverse motor control through simulation experiments. In the next lesson, we will introduce the basic concepts and functions of microprocessors to lay the foundation for subsequent in-depth study of motor control.